Oh, uh, wait, knight h4? Yes. Huh? Ah, so it's Gabon. Because Chad is north, so it's got to be Gabon, right? That has to be right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Very good. Oh, oh, by the way, my game started. Wait a second. I got to move. Um, Let's go G6. Wait. Sorry, my game just started. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's go here. Let's go off emote. Yeah, let's go off emote. Yeah. Um, Let's go D6 here. Yeah. Let's go here. Right in time. Thank you, Dr. Mustache. Thank you, Twinkie Buns for the four months. Thank you, Bruda 2 to Bruda for the prime. Let's go here in castles. Yeah, I've had a, I've had way too many African ones. So it's like, I've looked at Africa a lot lately. That's the only reason I'm, I'm suddenly getting them. Because it's been forever. I mean, I, I haven't looked... Like, African history is just ignored in schools. Or maybe not ignored, but you don't realize just how massive the continent is. So let's keep going. Um... I think I'm going to go A6 here. I'm going to do something a little bit weird. Okay, let's take it. I'm going to go C5. There's Bishop C2. I guess I take. I mean, I have D5, but this kind of... This really flattens the board, but I think it's the right move. So I trade and I take with the Knight. Take, hit the knight. Knight of three. I mean, this feels good for me, but I, I still have to prove it. He has bishop g5. Knight c5 seems logical, but it doesn't seem right. Um, how do I do this, actually? I don't like knight f8, but it might be... I think knight f6 and queen b6 must be the right way to play this. With like h6 and g5. Yeah, no, I don't think so, though. I think knight c5 is the right move. I think I misplayed this just a little bit. But we'll see what he does. Yeah, I think knight f6 was actually a very bad move by me, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it'll work out. I think I should have gone knight f8 or knight c5. It goes there because the problem is now he, he, he always has, like, bishop b3. This is the problem. I still think I'll win the game, but I'm not very happy with this. Probably I go G5. He goes Rook D1, which I'm kind of happy to see. I guess I go here to guard the guard the pieces. I still have G5 at some point. Oh, he almost can take, but I guard luckily. Yeah, now he finds Bishop B3. And now I don't really have much. Do I have Rook E8? Bishop D5, Bishop D5, Bishop F6, Knight F6. Let's go here. So if he takes, I take with a bishop, and if he takes, I just take with a knight. So I'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move. You just cart denied for the four months. Thank you so much, cart denied. Let's see what he does here. He's thinking for a long time. Okay. I mean, I have 94 here. I hit everything. I'm going to block. I was hoping he wouldn't see this queen d2, queen d8, but I'm, I still should be much better with bishop c5 lurking. Especially with b2 hanging as well. I mean, he probably has to take, and then I take. Again, this looks pretty good for me. Still thinking. Let's see what he does. He's thinking way too long. Way too slow here. Knight two. That's a very, very good move. Um, or is it? Wait, no, maybe not. Go here. Put pressure on the knight. Cause I have bishop bg seven too. Yeah, I go here and now he's got a problem with the pawn. I mean, he can play this end game down a pawn, but I, I should be winning here. Hmm. I guess I take. 
Wait, why did I do this? Why did I do that actually? Really insane. I guess I can go here and take F2 maybe. I go here and take F2. Should we still be good? Okay, because knight e4, I have rookie six. If he takes, I take. And if knight c4, and now I go here, and I mean... Okay, if he's going to play king f3, I think I'm going to win this, because I have a nice wood... I have kind of a little bit of a wooden shield here. And now I think I go f5 to kick the knight, and now I have rookie three, maybe. Six. Check king f4. Doesn't look quite right. I mean, I'm, I have so much time here that I probably should just, like, find a good move and win. Like, maybe... King f6? Yeah, this looks right. Go here. Knight b3. I mean, I, I almost have checkmate here, but not quite. Like, rook f2 looks right, but you know what? I think I should just be, like, safe with bishop g1 here. Yeah, he runs out of time. We got the win. One up, one down. Very good start. Okay, so let's see. Who's playing? Fabiano's playing. Hans? Wait, Hans? Shouldn't he be playing in uh, Iceland right now, or am I crazy? Or did he make a quick draw in round nine? No, I guess this game is over. Let me see. What what happened? Hans uh, played against who? Where's Hans' game? Uh, Hans, oh, Hans won against Thor Halson. Okay, so, so Hans actually already won his first game, I guess. Yeah, not not um not a good turn for Hans. He loses another four points despite winning the last round, and he's down to 26-32. Not not good. Yeah. Alright. Um, okay, so let's see. What else do we have? Two Wordle Insights Lesuthu is not, and Swaziland is officially Eswatini. I call it Swaziland. Eswatini just sounds weird. Swaziland is such a cool name of a country. I don't know why you would change it to Eswatini. All right. Um, okay, so let's see who's still playing. Andragan is still playing his game. Andragan is winning. He takes Rook B7 and F6, and you just win. I have been to Iceland. Yeah, I played. Okay, Rook D8 and Bishop F8 is actually for checkmate as well. Because you have Rook D6 and mate. Yeah, Bishop F8. GG's. Also, Gabon is not pronounced Gabon. What's it pronounced? G Gabon? 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway. Um, all right, so Andregan wins. Let's see who else is playing. Uh, Vita is playing. Uh, the legend. He's down to one second. Is he going to win this? Rook A6 and E5. E5. Check. Takes. King F6. I mean, this is just a draw. E5, E6. Rook A8. E7, E6. E7, yeah, King D7. Yeah. Wow, impressive. Wait, what is King E8? Okay, the game's drawn. All right, so Vita draws the first game. Not, not the start he wants for sure. Still a few games going. Okay, this looks like a draw, but it's probably gonna go for a while. Actually, this is Grand Neil's Grand Delicious. He's not winning either. This is going to be a draw. The rook just cuts the king. Wow. So Grand Delicious draws his game as well. Early draws. Uh, the Gabon is silent. So how do you pronounce it? Gabon, Gabon, Gabon. Like Gabon. Okay. Fair enough. All right, so waiting for the second round to begin. Should begin pretty soon. Gabon, Gabon, Gabon. All the letters are silent, yes. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, indeed. All right, next game should be starting momentarily. Let's go Knight F3, back to regular stuff. 
Give me the Gabon. Yeah, give me the Gabon. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Totally. Yeah. Okay. All right, what's he playing? Knight f6. Let's go b3. Keep it simple. Man said Brazil was landlocked. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. That was pretty poor. But then I did say there's the Amazonia River, so kind of not. Okay, let's go c4. Play some of your speedrun openings against title players. I sometimes do. It's just it, it varies. Tom I'm calling it now. Tomorrow's Wordle will be one of the stands in Asia. I need a lacunae for the 17. I will say Wordle since it's been all about... Uh, it's been all about... Um, it's it's been all about Africa lately. I'm, I'm actually learning some stuff, so which is kind of nice. Uh, that looks weird. I just go here. So I take and play G4. I mean, this looks a little bit sketchy for Black. Okay, I go here. I mean, the problem is Black has real issues now. And there's Knight H4. I mean, this looks really scary. As as the greatest chess player of all time, Gary, uh, Gary, Gary Chess said a knight on a five is worth at least a queen i'm gonna get it here for probably just one pawn so black is in really really bad shape oh wait he has knight f2 a knight ah uh, actually that was stupid of me ah, i forgot he had f5 okay so i guess the way i play this i'm just gonna go here and maybe f3 next move just kick the knight out of town and then castle and rook g1 you know let's just kick the knight out of town castles rook g1 i mean this looks really bad for black rook g1 pressure everywhere here I think I'm just going to keep attacking now in the center because he's trying to run with his king so now I blast open here and I think black's in really really bad shape goes f4 I mean again I think okay I have to be a little bit careful here because if he gets the knight to g3 it's actually not clean but actually e5 queen d3 that should be winning. The question is, do I have an easier way, like queen g2 and then e5 or something? No, I think this is still correct. Oh, with queen d3. It looks correct to me, at least. Yeah, this should be correct. Maybe there's an easier way to win, but this looks, this looks simple enough. Just really hard to envision black surviving this. I mean, everything is kind of just collapsing here. My man is, whoa, knight g8. That looks uh, kind of suicidal. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't believe for a second that black is going to be able to avoid getting checkmated here. I'm going to go here, queen h7. I have bishop a3 even. I mean, my, my, my man is really hoping for a lot here. Really hoping for a lot. Even bishop a3 looks very de deadly. Knight g6 should just be... Wait, what am I... Isn't this just winning, though? Because takes, I just take. I mean, maybe knight f5, but knight f4. Yeah, this is pretty gross. Yeah, I don't see black surviving this. I am being attacked by a super GM, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty terrible for black. I don't even know what he's going to do. He's going to go like knight f5. I'm just going to take and just GG's right on the spot. Game over. Game over. Thank you to Uncompetent for the Prime. Thank you so much to Uncompetent. Appreciate it. Thank you. In honor of Vita, right? This is the Vita song. I'll just take. I, I mean, everything is collapsing here around his king. It's just all way too weak. Everything's super, super weak. Thirty-eight seconds. He's just not gonna be able to survive this. You know, Wagio for the prime. I think it starts Wagio. Now, I think ninety-six is also just GG because I have Rook, uh, Rook G six. Yeah, this just looks like GG. I just go check. He's overloaded. I mean, just an absolute disaster here. Take now, I have rookie one. I mean, I just don't see how black can honestly survive. Everything's just collapsing. Yeah, there's just nothing black can do. It goes knight h6. I mean, 
He's really trying hard to save, but I mean, he's just, this just isn't gonna. Oh my gosh, I missed King D6. Oh my gosh, I just missed that as a move. Ah, that's ridiculous by me. Okay, just take. Guess I'll go here. So now I'm threatening to use the B shop. F7 is also almost me, but I think this is the cleanest one. Just check and GG's. Uh, check. Check. Check and mate. All right, we got the win. Uh, <laughs> unfortunate king way off sides here. We're on two out of two. Let's watch some other games. Let's watch fair chess. Okay, fair chess down a pawn. He might only draw this game too. He's in trouble here. Yeah, fair chess is only going to draw this game. This is going to be a draw. Wow. So Dimitri gives up a draw early as well. Oh, VD drew the first game and withdrew. Wait, Vita drew the first game and withdrew from the event? <laughs> he drew the first game and he, and he withdrew? Oh, that's great. That's as good as it gets. No, I mean, Andrekin, of course, draws and that's fine. But VD drawing the first game and he just, he just withdraws from the event? That's, that's, that, that's, uh, yeah. No, I mean, he wouldn't have done that if he, if I wasn't playing, maybe. But that's just I don't know. I you never give up after a draw because nowadays in Title Tuesday there aren't that many players. Like they're only three forty three, so like the winning score is always like nine and a half or ten. So just quitting after one draw is just insane. Yeah, that, that's a little bit that's a little bit much. Okay, let's watch some other games. Mechanic, he wins his game. Not shocking. Am I still in touch with Felix Longgel, also known as XQC? Sometimes, but not not recently. I mean, he hasn't done anything with chess in some time now, and I've been very busy. So, yeah, I mean... If he, if he, if he wants to do something, obviously. No, of course. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, Fabiano is down a bishop. He's losing. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Fabiano's white. Never mind, sorry. Fabiano's white here, so he's just winning. All right, let's see. So bishop f4, maybe bishop c7 and b7. Rook d8 is also good here. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess, yeah, b7 um, and king a8 and b8 and, and Fabiano wins the game. Okay. All right, what else do we have? Probably some other games. Okay, Hans is still playing. Hans is actually in trouble here, but he has three pawns. Bishop f4. Maybe G5, G6. Kind of scary for, for Hans, actually. Bishop F4. Bishop F4 or this? Okay, yay, yay. Oh, now G6 and you lose. Bishop F4, you just lose. Oh, boy. Ouch. Brutal. Hans loses early. <sighs> Brutal loss. Ouch. Crazy. Absolutely brutal. Thank you so much to Bagag for the three months. Thank you so much to Bagag. Appreciate it. Thank you. Best streamer and chess player. Greetings from Germany. It's wonderful time playing. Um... I don't think he is, but I could be wrong. All right. Anyway, let's keep moving along. Round three coming. Oh, I get Rustam off. <laughs> Someone we're very familiar with. I played him a lot of times. Thank you to Connor for the 15. Uh, I'm trying to think what I'm going to play. Thank you to Real Salvi for the eight months. I played him a lot. Okay, I'm just going to get back to my regular stuff. He plays the Fianchito, I believe, if I remember correctly. Real 
Silva just took five dollars out of Bezos's. I need a big fat poop head for the 11 months. Thanks so much, big fat poop head. A five here. Oh, this guy seems booked to the gills for some reason. Don't ask me why. Yeah, I don't actually like the opening I've played this game. Uh, do I go knight d4? I guess I go here knight f6 maybe. <laughs> okay. Goes bishop e3. Um, now I can play c5, but I think knight f6 must be right. I just assume I have play here. Maybe just king h8 next move. I mean, this is a very unclear position. But he does. Takes. Interesting choice. Um... Do I take g4 or not? Hmm. I think I'm going to take this one and go king h8, maybe. Oh, he goes knight b5. I didn't actually expect that move. Um, Wait a second. I didn't expect that at all. I just throw this game already, maybe. I guess I have to go here and maybe queen off six. I don't actually like what I've done at all here. Am I at B2 or something? Go here. Not happy with what I've done so far. Not happy at all. Just go here. No, I don't know what I did. I just played this horribly. I should have taken and gone here anyway. Why didn't I just do that? What am I doing? It was g4, which is kind of a weird move, too. Wait a second. g4 looks wrong somehow. Three. Rook b7, knight c5, or bishop e5. It looks That looks wrong somehow. But how do I play this? I'm down on the clock, which is not what I need either. Queen a2, rook b7, queen c4. No, that's no good though. What am I doing? I just I gotta move. Okay, I just I gotta go. I'm thinking too long. I just gotta go. I have no time. Or do I take with a maybe I take with a queen? Unclear. Take with a king. There, there, there. Messy. I'm gonna take with a king. Okay, he goes rook b1, which is probably a very good move. I mean, you can obviously take g7, but if I get the activated bishop, I should be okay here. I also have queen e4 at some point. b3, that looks bad. Let's go here, target the rook. I feel like I'm starting to actually outplay him. Like, even if I get queen f4 and bishop d5, it starts to look very scary for white. I think he's already misplayed this quite a bit. It was f3. Now, queen e2 looks like the right move. Queen f4 is also a move, though. I mean, queen f4 or queen e2, they're both moves. My instinct says queen e2 is right. Just, just my instinct is that this is the right move. Don't know if it's right, but I feel like the pawns hanging at bishop e5. It's gonna be complicated. I take, of course. He goes rook e1. I go bishop e5 and king g7. Very messy position, but again, I assume he's got weak pawns on the queen side, and I can win this because h6 isn't really a danger. Go here, target this pawn. H6, just king g6 is always good. Guess I'll throw in a check in a5 here. I 
I guess I go... I kind of want to go C6, maybe. It's a little bit scary. Um, okay, let's just go here. I can just wait. I can outwait. I can outwait him. Go here. Let's go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to break somehow. I got to break something here. That's not the move I expected. I think I go here and take. Because H6, I still have Rook H1. I'm going to go here, maybe, next move. Wait. Oh, I blundered this. He's got rook d6, king f4. No, I think I have to do this. Very sneaky move. Let's go back here. I mean, h6, I always have rook h1, I think. Just there, I mean, I guess I check again and now I... King e3. Wait, this last check? No, but he's got king d4. Check. Yes, he blundered. He gets mated in one. Knight e3, I go d5. Yeah, he just he check mated himself. King d4, bishop e5 is checkmate. If he takes, I just take. Yeah, he goes here, it's just checkmate in one. King has no squares. Tough game, but we got to win. Tough, tough game. All right, three out of three. Let's keep watching. Let's see who else is playing. Not a good game, but it's a win. Okay, Grishuk wins. Minlay is playing, actually. Minlay is... Oh, no, this isn't Minlay. Sorry, wrong, wrong game. I was looking for Minlay. He is playing against... Uh, yeah, he gets the win. Okay, pretty normal. All pretty standard. Yeah. You get a sissy cross-dresser for three. Oh, did someone post moves? I didn't even notice that. If you do post moves, you guys are going to get banned. No posting moves. No posting the moves, you guys. All right. Why Rook takes pawn was losing? Um, it wasn't losing, but he had a way to draw. See, Tari is... Tari is losing to the Bean Man. Rook G5, even. Wow, Tari is going to lose to the Bean Man. Not good. Not good. Rook G1. <laughs> He's going to lose to the Bean. So, I mean, at least Tari's in good company. He's not the only person to lose to the Bean. XQC did it, too. Um, but, hey. All right, so Tari loses. Um, what else do we have? Uh, a few more games left. Indian Lad is still playing. Okay, looks like a draw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bean Guy was the punching. Yeah, Bean Guy was the punching bag of the Pro Chess League. Yep. I mean, obviously should be a draw. 90, 96 check. Nupster D just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. <sighs> Thanks so much to Nupster for the seven months. Thanks so much to Nupster. Appreciate it. Thank you. Minlay's not streaming, really? Okay. Yeah, this should be a draw. All right, so they draw. Okay, so we have, what, how many games? Not many. I, I respect the sick double burn than, than both Tari and XQC, yeah. 
So what do we have? Bunch of people on three out of three. Not shocking. Dulles, of course. Myself, Andrake, Andraken. Or not Andraken, sorry. Um, Asapenko. Noterbeck. A lot of strong players. Do I do theory prep for chess tournaments anymore? Of course I do, you guys. Obviously. I hope everyone's loved ones are fine in New York. My friend's sister got injured in the shootout on the subway. Oh, geez. Let's go night of three. The layout, the layout's not actually messed up. It's, it's quite good. Um, it, it looks very good as far as I can tell. No, this, this looks correct. Yeah, this is correct. I guess, yeah, the, the subs is kind of covering it a little bit, but so be it. Let's go here, Bishop B2. Yeah, I mean, I know the 8,000 subs is covering it, but that's what it is. If once we get to 8,000 subs, it'll, it won't be there anymore, you guys. So we just got to get to 8,000, buy our pineapple shoes, and go from there. Now, I'm going to play G3 this time. Good D3. I think I'll play Knight E5 again. Let's trade. I had this against um somebody. I guess we'll go Rookie 1, maybe E4 next move. Go E4. Queen c7, I guess I go queen e2. I don't even know if this is necessary, but something. I need a fire sure for the nine months. I guess much fire sure. Let's play a3 here. I'm blackmailing you guys? No, I'm not. Fabiano is not on three points, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea what happened to Fabiano. I think I'm going to play knight f1. This is what I did against Pistol Pete when we played our SEC match. I put this knight on f1 and played like c4. I don't really know if it's all that great, but it looks like an interesting concept to play for. I should have also played c4 maybe instead, but so be it. Let's go e5. I'm going to play h4, I guess, or a4. So a4 makes more sense because I can always meet c5 with knight 2 or c4. Thank you to Burritos Galore for the 26 months. Thank you so much to Burritos Galore. Thank you. Go c5. I mean, I can play rook d1. Uh, 93 is actually a move here. Good. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Because if he takes, I take, take, take. If he six, I trade. I think it's okay. We'll see. Seems like a pretty reasonable way to play this. I can always go F4 to consolidate the chain, too. I think it's okay. Yeah, it should be okay. You get a K Keith for the uh, two months. Thank you so much, K Keith. Appreciate it. Thank you. Or thank you for the get the sub. Sorry. Yeah, it plays knight B, but now I thought I had some C4 trick. But they, takes, takes doesn't actually look all that wonderful. I guess I'll just go F4, consolidate the chain. The rook AD1 here. At some point, I'm probably going to play C4. It's just a matter of one exactly. Thinking for a long time here. I guess he's trying to figure out what his plan is. Hmm. He goes knight d4, which I think I'm kind of happy to see. I'll go queen f2. Ah, he wants to go knight f5. He wants to play it like this. Okay, interesting. I can play c4 here. Yeah, let's just go c4. Play for the imbalance. I don't know if this is actually great, but I'm playing for a big imbalance here. I guess I take. He trades. I mean... He trades, I guess I take with a B pawn. I'm actually not really sure how I'm capturing. I'm not sure I can claim anything here. It's just this bishop on h7 is actually not very good. There's queen b6, which I didn't think was right. I, I guess I just take. I'm not so happy with this either. Okay, he plays queen b3. I'm actually surprised to see that. Wait, I do have d6 maybe? I also have... Oh, I don't have any good moves here. Ah, this is actually kind of... Eh. This isn't what I wanted. 
Go D4. I mean, he has C4, but I'm going to try to go Queen up to an F5 or something. Oh, he just takes. I did not expect that. I mean, again, this is not what I wanted, but his bishop is bad, maybe? Go here, maybe rook A1 or rook C1. Maybe rook D2. Okay, I've definitely not played this very well. Go here. This isn't what I wanted at all. I should have gone rook D2, B2. Let's go here. I mean, it's going to try to go B5. I mean, let's go here. Why did I allow B5 to? I mean, I have to take. Yeah, I completely flubbed this. Oh, so unfortunate. I still have chances, maybe, though. I shouldn't, I shouldn't just give up. I, I mean, I have some outside chances. Wait, but that hangs... No, it doesn't hang C4. I'm go Bishop A1, maybe. Or F5. Is there an actual threat here? Oh, very frustrating first. Very frustrating game. I've beaten him so many times, but sooner or later you have to lose the game. Yeah. Yeah, sooner or later you have to lose the game. I threw that pretty hard, though, because it was completely fine up until I blundered. Right about here, C4 is just a bad move. It's probably just a draw. Tried too hard to mess it up. I mean... Yeah, if I just trade and play a normal position, it's about equal. Tried to, tried C4, which is just not good. Yeah, Queen B6 is just bad. Unfortunate. But it happens. Not a big deal. All right, you guys. I'm going to take a short break. We'll use the restroom. We'll come back. I think there was a six-minute break between rounds four and five, so we'll be back in a second. All right, you guys. We're back. So, all right. Not not a good not a good game. Um, Why did you get a Herman Miller chair um, shaking... Shaking my head, best investment ever, because I'm very happy with my $180 Amazon Basics chair. It's very nice. I can lean back. I can swivel. I also would add on Amazon itself, this chair got very poor reviews. A lot of people said it's falling apart. The quality is bad. I've had this chair since early 2019. I'm looking at it. Nothing's wrong with it for me. So, yeah. What was I looking? Oh, I got my um, I got my toast. I had my toast with some uh, almond butter and some. Uh, I put some seeds on it. As a move towards being a variety streamer, would you consider doing an Elden Ring stream? Um. Yeah. You've used it six times since 2019 because you were in California. I mean, it's fine to me. What's TOS? Almond butter is TOS. What? What? What I have some like some of those like um like sesame type seeds. What? What do you mean TOS? Why is that TOS? What? I, I'm missing the I'm missing the joke. Okay, you guys are just being weird. I'm I'm literally eating. I'm eating. I'm eating my food. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So the standings. Okay, so round should be starting pretty soon. Um, I pronounce toast like X as you pronounce as TOS. Yay! Okay. Hey, Luca for the 13th thing and Trills for the 4th thing and Professor Ted for the 32. Thank you to the real, real, uh, real Coles burrito for the two months. Thank you so much. 
what happens sometimes so, look you guys i learned from the best everything i've learned on twitch is because of xqc so if i start talking like xqc too why why is that such a surprise surprise Yeah, I'm missing the joke. Yay! Hey, Andrew Chess for the 10 months. Thanks so much to Andrew Chess. Appreciate it. Yeah. Chess just took $5 out of Bezos' pocket. Thanks. underscore 11 mm. subscribed how many points I have three out of four can I say Hikaru is that what I'm supposed to say so Hikaru is that what I'm supposed to say like like yeah and just took five dollars out of bezos's pocket thanks my favorite streamer laughing face hmm go here sktz underscore just resub for six months hey i over the 34 sergey chion for 17 skits for the six thank you so much Plays H4 now. F5 is a move for sure. I'm just going to do it. I want to think here. I didn't do trade all. I didn't have time to do it. Yeah, I put my butt. I put my toast in the in the machine and buttered it up. Okay, obviously I'm going to go G5 here. Um, create. We're going to try to create a pyramid. I think in a second. A hey, pass pawn for the 41 months. Thank you so much, pass pawn. Appreciate it. 41 months. Now that's what I call a true fan. I mean, G4 looks like a good move here just to try and play more on the king side here. I maybe create the connect five. I mean, knight f6 was obviously a move, but he had G4, so I didn't play it. My man is still thinking here. I don't know why. Not really sure what he's looking for. I mean, is he looking to take? Jeez, he's super slow. Okay, castles. Of course, I go knight f6 here. I think I just castle. Why not? I mean, I can create the connect five. It's just a question of when do I do it. I'm going to go b6 to stop c5. I think long term I'll be able to win this pawn in H5 here. You have Pismos for three hundo bits. Thank you so much to Pismos. Hey Car, we all love chess because it's unpredictable and no one's beatable. Absolutely. I mean, I don't care. I just play chess for fun. Let's go G3, create the connect five here. Um, now the question is, do I have time? I think I'm gonna go here and Queen E8 next move. Sigerman OO just subscribed. Put pressure on H5 here. I mean, yeah, he does have Knight B5, which I kind of overlooked. Um, let's just go back, I guess. Hmm, not so happy about this. Plays B4, so I guess I go A6. I'll go A5 here. Maybe Bishop E8 at some point. Go here. Oh, I could have played C5 too. Actually, I should have played C5 probably. 
I mean, his king is going to become very open pretty soon. You know, Pulsar Jelly for the good something is Cigar Man as well. Thanks so much, Cigar Man. It was Knight B5. Um, that's actually a very logical move. I can take the pawn. Just a question of whether I want to. But I think it's right, because I still can take. And I can go Knight C8, which is very important here, just to guard everything. And then if I can reroute the Knight back, eventually I should just win this game. Very tricky position. Okay, I'm going to go back. Go here, probably Bishop F8, Knight D7, C5 at some point. Guess I go here, Knight C5. Whoa, they need a cross man for the five gifteds. I should be better here. That looks like a free pawn, but do I really want to take it? I see no reason not to take it. Go here and like Rook B7 maybe? I feel like I'm playing this particularly well. I mean, I'm obviously better, but it's not... I guess if I get the H pawn, I just win the end game, basically. I just go... I gotta get H5, H4, H3 and just end the game. If I get H5, H4, H3, I just I just win because he can't stop to connect 6. Or connect 5, I should say. If Queen A6, I go Queen B6, I'm fine. Yeah, I just go here. Whoa, what is that? Okay, I just take... I mean, this just be this is just losing because I run the pawn. Tick tock. Right, but I just keep running now. Now the pawn is just unstoppable, kind of. Question is, do I want to play h three or not? Like, I don't have to even. I guess I'll just go here, tickle the rook on a six at some point. Rook b eight, rook g seven, maybe. Yeah, I guess I go here. Yeah, H3 is now a big problem. Yeah, he resigns. I mean, just nothing he can do. If he takes, I go G2 and I win the game. If he doesn't, I mean, he goes like here. I mean, I go H2, Bishop B2, and then I go Bishop H3. If he takes, I get the two pawns, and he can't go here because I make a queen. Otherwise, I take and win, so GG. All right, get the win. Four out of five. Um, that's not, not the greatest, but I'll take it. Let's see who's playing. Okay, Machani is playing Min Lei. Wonderful time. Exciting game. All right, what's happening? 20 seconds for Min Lei. Min Lei is doing well, I think. I think Min Lei is just better here. Maybe Knight D4 takes, takes, and Queen E5. Or just Queen E5 right away. Tick tock. Tick tock. Queen e7 to hit the pawn on b4. White might try e5 and bishop, a, bishop e4 if he can. I'd probably go e5, e6 here. Try to really mess up the position. He goes there, e5. E... I don't like d5 at all. I feel like black should be quick enough here. Am I playing Valorant? I don't know. Thank you to Curry HC for the 21 months. Thank you so much, Curry HC. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Ariel just subscribed. Oh, uh, have I seen Dark? Yes, I have seen Dark. Yeah. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, that's why I was doing it. Okay, what happened to Minlay? Minlay is before Rook C5. No. Oh, he misses it. Now there's like Rook H6 or Bishop G3. Okay, but now it's going to be a draw, I think. Rook g5. Okay, I guess this will be a draw. Tries to go for checkmate in one. You got it. You got to play M peasant. King h2, and now it's just a draw. Yeah, this will be a draw pretty soon. Rook, rook. Take the pawn. Rook d2. Bishop g3. Bishop g3. It's mate in one. Rook h. What? Rook d2. Minlay throws it. He should have won. Completely threw it. Completely threw it. Yeah. I didn't lose to Noterbeck. I lost to Shugarov. Different player. Um, unfortunate for, for Minlay. Should have won that game. Should have won that game. Thank you to Raymond for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, I lost to Shugarov, who was actually on five out of five. So 
Okay, nothing to really be that ashamed of. Let's see, Jospin is playing. Oh, knight d6. Beautiful, beautiful win for Jospin. Check and then you just, you just, no, now you queen and queen. Can we see the standings? Yeah, we have the standings right here. Um, yeah, you have Sh Shugrov on five, Mechanic, Andreka, Dennis Lazanichka, uh, Minlay, Billy Kimba, and Grishuk, and Bortnik, and a ton of others on four and a half, and then a bunch of us on four. Is Shugarov a very strong gym? Yeah, it was like 2660 feet. It very strong. Yeah. This is the early title Tuesday tournament. There is another one later on as well. Oh no, Jossum was black. Oh, never mind. Jossum lost. Oh my gosh. Actually, wait, I had it wrong. Ouch. <sighs> Brutal. Tough tournament. Very tough tournament. By the way, this is also why you don't withdraw from the tournament after a first round draw, because there's only one person on a perfect score after five rounds. All right, next game should be starting pretty soon, I think. Maybe there's still a few going. What is the candidates? Candidate starts on June 16th, so a little over two months away. A little over two months. Where is Fabiano? Fabiano lost the game early, uh, just like I did, but he's probably still in the hunt somewhere. Yeah, I see, I see his name if I can ever get rid of these challenges blocking. He's on 4 out of 5 also. Fabiano's on 4 out of 5. Same score. Well, I play in late title Tuesday. That is my intention. Um, I probably will stop somewhere in the middle of the stream. Um, so I'll probably stop like an hour or two before and then come back for it rather than just stream all the way straight through. But yeah. Are you like seriously preparing for it or you just don't care? I mean, of course, I'm going to do some preparation for it. Yeah, obviously. What kind of question is that, dude? Who is this guy? Shaheen. Who is this? Okay, I don't know who this is. All right, plays 96. Okay, so he shows good understanding. Let's go here in castles, I guess. I play knight bd2. I can also play like knight d4 maybe to trade some trade some bishops here. <laughs> who? Yeah, who? Exactly. I don't know who this is, but whatever. He goes queen b6. Uh, now, the question is, do I play knight c3 or do I take first? My instinct is to go... I didn't think this is actually play rook c1 here. I don't know if it's the right move, but it's just my instinct. Who's there? I mean, I guess I go here in 95 or e1. 95 makes the most sense objectively. Because I have bishop d4 to hit the queen. Actually, having the rook on c1 really, really useful here. Ali Reza burner account knows not Ali Reza. Same for a long time here. Let's see what he does. Yay! Need a Bassy Borky for the 22 months. He goes 96. Looks kind of wrong to me somehow. So do I take d5 or play knight c3? I think I play knight c3. d4, knight a4. Yeah, d4, I have knight a4. So this should be good. And you can't move the knight because then I get the fork with knight d7. It goes rook d8. That also feels kind of wrong somehow to me. Um... That feels wrong, but is there a way to do it? Hmm. I guess I just take and play knight a4 here and just play the position. I mean, I'm not thrilled by this, but it should be better for me because I can stack the two towers here. Did I just blunder this? Wait a second. I just take... I have to take. He takes. Now I have knight c6. I also have knight c5. I mean, rook c1 looks pretty strong with the idea of rook... What? Isn't that just a fork? 
That's just GG. Yeah, it's just a fork. He missed it. Yeah, I should just win the game now. Gonna get another win, so we're gonna move to five out of six. We're gonna be decent positioning. Not great, but not terrible either. All he res is now is French as the Eiffel Tower, Baguette, Omelette, Escargot. Indeed, indeed. Uh, now the question is, which rook do I take? My instinct is just take this one. I mean, I have knight c5 here. I think I should just bring the juicer in. And play like rook d1. Try to trade off the knights. Try, try to trade off the rooks here for sure. Although I gave him e3, which I really should not have given him. He is playing quite well, I will say that. No, this was very careless by me. Why did I allow e3? That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I think after H I'm still fine, but really careless. Really, really careless by me. I mean, as long as the squares are covered, there are no checks, and I have time to consolidate with Queen E2 or Queen F3, it should be pretty cleanly winning, but to allow this was fairly insane. It goes bishop h6 i expected that i think i just go queen f3 or do i go queen d4 queen d4 actually kind of takes even more squares actually this looks like the right square just centralize the queen prevent anything i mean you can go back then i go queen e3 and i assume i'm just winning it goes back i expected that now the thing is where do i put the queen do i go to e3 where do i go I think this is okay. Knight g4, h4. Yeah, this is fine. Because it's check on f6. Like, he doesn't have queen time for to create the right triangle here. Because it's just check. Okay, now now, now I should just win. Yeah, now now it should be pretty clean. But king e2 is a little bit dubious too, perhaps. Um, so all I have to do here is get my, uh, get my piece on the right square. So I think... A4 looks like a logical move. Queen G3, as expected. Oh my gosh, what am I... Oh, yeah, yeah, what am I doing? Oh, what did I just do? Wait, by B4 maybe? I am not playing this one well at all. Queen F3, Queen E5. Oh, what the heck am I doing? I just missed that I hung the B3 pawn, jeez. Oh, I'm lovely. Let's go check in here, maybe. Yeah, now I can block and I'm safe in the corner, I think. Go here. Go here. I go still tricky this guy keeps defending really well and why am I failing to put this game away I guess I just go here oh I almost blunder queen a6 oh my gosh that would have been really bad what am I doing like I'm actually trying very hard to not win this game There we go, finally. Jeez. Oh, there we go, mate. Yeah, this guy kept defending really well for a long time, surprisingly. Very tough, very tough game, but we got the win eventually. Very, very tough game.
All right, that was really, really disappointing by me. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, Minlay is playing against uh, Egrock, and he is winning here. So, all right. Yeah, that was not very well done. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Lama SC? Hope you're doing well, man. You get a Hippolytus for the four months. Thank you so much, Hippolytus. Appreciate it. We love all the comebacks where you lose one and then you win the rest of the games. Yeah, I mean, normally if you lose a game, like you just have to buckle down a little bit more because you don't have any margin for, um, you don't have any margin for error after that. Why did chat go into sub mode? Because of people basically just saying moves. That's why. When did I start first start seriously considering becoming a streamer? Just sort of happen. Um, I don't know what you mean by first considered it. I guess what I would say is that um, you know, I streamed a little bit in 2017, not much, but late 2018, I made a conscious decision to try to stream more. That was in large part because my chess career was going down the toilet a little bit. I wasn't playing very well. I was losing rating points. Um, and so I just started doing it and I really enjoyed it. So I wouldn't say that it was specifically like a decision. I, I mean, the decision was that I chose to stream, but it wasn't like I started thinking about like, I'm going to do it every day or uh, all those thoughts didn't really exist. I just chose to do it and I liked it. And that's kind of what happened. New Demetrius Greece for the three months. Thank you so much to the boss for the seven. Do I still put mayo on my French fries? Of course I'm you guys. I'm proud to not be an American. Have some culture and uh, have some culture and put that mayo on those fries, of course. All right. Anyway, um, let's see. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, of course, no. I, I. That's the one thing I will say. Europeans, like maybe the only thing they've, they've gotten right in the last like two decades is, uh, is mayo on french fries. That's the only thing they've gotten right in the last two decades. All right. Um, so yeah um ruthless ruthless yeah truly ruthless indeed vinegar on french fries that sounds kind of nasty mayo on fries just how you do it all right one game left um we're what six games in so rook h6 and black wins okay how about mayo and ketchup i've never tried to do mayo and ketchup salt and vinegar chips i have had those actually i don't remember where but not really my thing though I mean I've had truffle fries or parmesan fries or all, all that jazz like I'm playing Billy Kimba so yeah the, the tournament is definitely on it's game on now let's play the Karo Khan it's been the opening I've been playing the last two days so let's just play it again why not yeah Plays this one. So I'm going to check and go queen a6, I guess. Let's see four. He's playing this order. This is a little bit different. I think there's some c5 here. I have this against Rasmus with white, I think, actually. Wait, I'm trying to remember what the exact line is. Is it bishop before right away or not? Um, or is it takes and oh, I'm trying to remember how this line goes or is it bishop before and then c5 I, I can't quite remember okay I should just move actually I, I don't have all the time in the world so I'm just gonna move here if I had more time I, I'd use it but I, I can't just like fall a minute behind on the clock that's just not gonna cut it um I guess I'll go here I think I misplayed this already though yeah I did misplay this is already quite bad for me guess I'll go yeah this is not what I want at all I guess I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Bishop a3 maybe uh yeah I think I'm gonna go here I, I just have to move quickly I'm gonna have to move quickly and, and go for something a little bit unusual like maybe c5 maybe just chip the structure as fast as i can maybe i should have just done it right away actually no this was very poor by me um i'm gonna try knight f8 knight g6 maybe i mean this feels very dangerous i do have knight g6 or something
think what I can do here. B4. Okay, so what does B4 threaten? Nothing specific. Wait, what does B4 actually do? If I take... Unless, unless I'm actually just getting force checkmated here, which I very well um, actually might be. Yikes. I guess I have to go here. This looks really bad. Allows me to castle, though. Well, I mean, I got to do it. Otherwise, I just lose. I might just lose anyway, but... If I lose, I lose, but that's life. Again, if I can just defend for, like, two moves, I have a chance. I just need, like, two moves to defend. And, like, one, two. That's all I need. Of course, I go here. I go king b8. Could have gone king b8 right away, I guess, but whatever. Queen d2 looks like a weird move. Okay. Um. This idea. I don't. I don't understand his idea here. Maybe I could have gone knight f8. Oh, I should have gone knight f8. Why did I play knight f8 there? Okay, I have knight f8 again. But then he has queen h6 now, so it's a little bit iffy. We'll go here. And he's trying something. I can play rook c8 maybe. Actually, I think I should just go knight. Well, but then he has queen h6. C d8. I'm going to go for this. If this loses, so be it. I mean, I just figure I'm, I'm in really bad shape if I don't do something active here. Oh, he doesn't actually take advantage of it. Interesting. I guess I go here. Okay, so I understand his idea. I can also play f4, though. Because takes up knight h4. Starting to get a little bit tricky for, for, uh, for, for Billy. Take, of course. Okay, maybe queen a4. Let's cover all the squares. And I still have 97. Maybe knight f5. I actually think I'm okay here. Somehow I'm okay. I shouldn't be okay, but I think I am okay. And I'm up 30 seconds. Also very, very important that I'm up on the clock here. Position should be easier for white to play. Wow, queen d1? That's not the move I expected. I mean... I mean, wait. If, if this is actually losing... What is he doing, actually? What on earth is Billy doing? Yeah, Billy's completely lost his mind. I guess I go here because I have rook g1, maybe. Go here. No, Billy's completely lost his mind. I mean, he's going to lose this game. I think if Funka, Funka fell for two months, I mean... I can take... Oh, uh, wait. Knight h4? Yes. Huh? Okay, there we go. We got the win. There we go. All right. Yeah, I mean, he was obviously winning. A, I mean, I think he was like plus five somewhere. Let me turn on the lines. Let's turn on the evaluation bar. I mean, it was like completely lost. This is plus two. Yeah. I mean, somewhere around here. Bishop f6 and I just resigned. Okay. Yeah. Queen d2 was wrong. Bishop h6 was really bad. Yeah. Rook fc1 and I don't get to castle. And then I basically just resigned. I just, it was plus five. It was plus five. He goes here. And now it's only plus two. I mean, it's still losing. Queen d2 is bad. Rook b3 and just keep attacking. Still very good. Yeah, and now just... Yeah, now it's kind of... Al yeah, now it's already almost gone. It's still good, but... But 97 right away would have drawn. I go here. Yeah, queen d1 is just absurd. But it's already mostly gone here. Mostly gone. 
He's trying not to flag. Yeah, it's probably a large part was this time situation, but whatever. No one asks how. You just you just got to win the game. So we get the win, move to six out of seven. As you guys see, there's only one person on six and a half. So this is exactly why VD never should have withdrawn from the term after one game. He had a Koopa grab for the two months. Thanks so much, Koopa grab. Yeah, I totally never thrown away plus three and or plus five lead in a game. Yeah, happens. How do I know the valuation? Sus. <laughs> Because I have this thing called intuition and feel. I've played chess for most of my life. And you can sort of feel based on the placement of the pieces whether a position is playable or not. Seven puppies, one dream. Just subscribe. I think it's seven puppies for the seven months. Yeah. I have a hair on my shoulder. No, I don't. But thank you. Who is Chess Warrior? That is um Chess Warrior is Noterbeck Abdus Sitarov. Run it. I don't have sh I don't have anything. You guys stop it. There's nothing. Yay! X Spence just took five dollars. Need X Spence for 17 months. Thank you. All right, waiting for the next game. We should be starting pretty soon. Let's see, board next game. Oh, looks like a draw. Why is Bornick still playing here, by the way? Why is he making the draw? Like, why isn't Bornick just going king a2 and making the draw? I mean, very weird. Thank you to Joy Ryder for the tier one. Thanks so much, Joy Ryder. Appreciate it. Thank you to Hazina for the eight months. Slightly back of the seamants there. There's no hair. What are you guys talking about? Hair is slightly back of the seam. It is there. Yeah, you guys are very funny. Yeah, there's nothing. You guys are you guys are just being weird. It's gone now. I mean, there was never any hair. Yeah, there's like no hair on the floor. What are you guys talking about? All right. Anyway, okay. So next round should be starting momentarily. One game left. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> Just trying to think what I'm gonna do because I mean I'm on six out of seven. I have a I have a chance. Okay, I have to win this game against Noterbeck. Now Noterbeck played something bad against me the last time, as I recall. I don't even remember what it was. We did something dubious. Plays B6 interesting. I mean, I guess I just develop probably. This knight BD7, very interesting choice by Noterbeck. I mean, I suspect this is wrong, but I don't really know why it's wrong, unfortunately. If this feels wrong, um, but again, I don't want to spend 10 years on this move play b4 like i know this isn't right but in, in a blitz game i don't know how to prove this um yeah in a blitz ah, i don't want to spend too long here uh whatever i mean i i know this isn't right but i i can't i can't burn all my time here trying to find the refutation i just have to play chess before i end up down like two minutes on the clock and i'm just gonna lose on lose on time it goes there which i think is slightly wrong Take, take, and play like Bishop A6, maybe. Go here, hit the Rook. Of course, I go Queen E2 here. It's Queen A8, logical. I mean, I, I guess Rook D1 must be right here. 
Do I take with the queen or do I take with a pawn is also a big question mark. Honestly, not sure. Does knight b8 logical? I guess I go... Do I go to... I guess I go to d3? Because now I have e4 as a threat. If he takes, I take, I get bishop e4. I don't know if takes with the pawn is right, but I'm going to do it. I could have taken with the queen and probably just drawn this game, but... I mean, I'm down half a point. I need. I think I need to try and win. If it's a draw, a draw is, that would be it, but... Interesting choice. Um, I think I'll go here to hit the queen. Go here. Because again, he still can't take because of the rook problem. And I, now I have f4 to open up more diagonals here. b4 is actually kind of interesting. Let's go b4. Actually, I don't know if I like b4 so much. But it does create an imbalance. I'm up on time, which is useful. So if I... I thought I had something here again, but I don't. What am I doing? I thought I had a move. Why did I just play B4? <sighs> Such a bad move. I should never have played B4. I'm gonna have to make a draw here somehow. Very, very poor. I thought I had something. Why did I play this? I was sure that I had some move like takes and rook d7 or something. But I just have nothing. And now I'm using too much time again. Lovely. I guess I'll do this. I mean, this isn't what I want to do at all. C4, which I'm actually a little surprised by. Go here. I've just got to move a little bit quicker. C3, okay. I mean, I'll just go here. Oh, not playing this very well at all. I'm still okay, but I'm not, not happy. Queen f6 is logical. I mean, I do a bishop g4 maybe to hit the knight. Of course, I just blundered c2 somehow. I think I'm going to have to make the draw very soon, though, before this gets really out of hand. Knight c5. Okay, I guess I go here. Still not thrilled by my position, I have to say. But c3 is very weak now h5 logical now do i go to h3 or f3 this is also a tough question if i go to f3 he's got 97 if i go to h3 i'm gonna go here i don't know this feels wrong well there's still a big threat and his knight is i mean everything is kind of weirdly placed for both of us here He finds knight d7, knight b7, really, really good move. So go here. Let's go here. I'm going to try to play e4 or something. Oh my gosh, I just blundered knight d4. Oi, oi, oi. Oh my gosh, I just, oi, what the heck. Oh, I just hung knight d4. Oh my gosh. Really not my day. I just hung knight d4 out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. Ah. Yay! Well, there goes title Tuesday. Ah, just the throw that I needed. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. I I threw that. I have to use the restroom anyway, but uh yeah yeah.
Oi, oi, oi. 94, what am I doing? I had a feeling I was going to hang it too, but yeah, I'm going to resign and go. I'll be back. Yeah, very, very poor. Very, very poor game. Very, very poor. And it all started because I used too much time in this opening. Right here? Let me go back. Let me see. Did I have something? I bet I did. See, yeah, this is the problem. See, I told you guys. This was the problem. I used 30 seconds in a, in a slow game. I would have found the continuation. But take some bishop C. Well, now it's saying some weird H4. But in a slow game, if I don't, I would, I would have been able to figure this out. This is actually just good for white. But the problem is, in a blitz game, you use 30 seconds. You're unsure. You do something else, and that just messed up all of the flow of the rest of the game. Again, if I had a lot more time here, everything changes. But I used those 30 seconds, and then I didn't go for go for the best line. I knew there was something here though. So I used those 30 seconds, and then then I didn't play it, and it happens. Why not take C3? Well, I mean, it's all just lost. I mean, I just, I just blundered terribly here. Like, in, the, in this position, it's probably okay. Yeah, why didn't I go... Actually, you know what's funny? I saw Rook C4 during the game, and then I didn't play it. Like, I saw Knight B7, and I saw Rook C4 while he was thinking. Why did I not actually play this? I mean, I guess it's all it's not actually all that clear, because he can just play Rook B2. But still, to, to go Rook B4 is just ridiculous. And I had Rook, Rook C4 here as well. And then, to just yeah, just to blunder E4, very, very poor. Very, very poor. Uh, it's kind of ruined my day, yeah. Uh, oh, you don't have the bar on? Sorry. But you guys can see that you can see the eval up top here. But yeah, it was, it was right here. I, I think I wanted to tank for like 30 seconds. And I was, I was like, I think I said to chat, there's something better. I knew there was something wrong with this, but I didn't go for the right line. That happens. Just annoying because it ruined the rest of the, ga rest of the game. Happens. I can't win anymore, sure. But I can still probably get to like... Third, if I win three, so why not play? Thank you, Evan Mohani for the 10. Thank you to Capital Letter for the four. Thank you, Kiki, for the gift of sub. Noterbeck is not the future of chess. I will say that outright. He'll probably get to 2,700 plus. But I mean, if you compare his trajectory to Ali Reza's, I mean, he's got a long way to go. He'll be very good, but he has a long, long way to go. Long way to go. Yeah. Fair enough. No, I mean, he'll, he'll be very good. But again, saying he's going to be like 2,800 or the future of chess, I mean, that's going a bit too far. Yeah. Yeah. And people are going to say, oh yeah, you're, you're, you're just like, you're, you're like, you're, you're, in, you're trashing or something. I'm not. Um, but again, his rating is not, what is his rating? Is he, is he, he's, he's not 2,700, right? Let me see where he's at. He is, yeah, he's 2,661. Like 2,661 to 2,700 is very, very far off. Very far off. Kamer is hot. See, like, that's an example. Like, Kamer is, is 11 points higher than Noterbeck, and I think Noterbeck is actually a much more talented player. Like, I think Noterbeck is much more talented than Kamer, but, again, Kamer is 11 points higher. And that kind of says a lot. Yeah. So, why so salty? I'm not salty, actually. 2661 is not 2800. Let's go Knight C6 here. Uh, actually, it's funny. No, speaking of Noterbeck, he played this against me in the RCC a couple weeks back. Let's go d6, bishop c5. Um, three, let's play h6. Yeah. Asapenko is good. Asapenko is what, 2709? He's 20. He has, a, he, has a, he has chances too. I mean, the thing is, everybody has chances. But again, the rating range matters. Rating range matters a lot. And 26, 2672 Kamer's what? They're both 17, 2672, 2661. Long way to go. To give you an example, Hans is 2650 like uh, yesterday. And he just lost 20 points overnight. So very difficult yeah 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 i know the plebs are gonna say salty blah 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 whatever um they don't understand chess let's play knight g6 here i can just take and go 97 back just take with a pawn actually what am i doing this is actually very poor yeah it's it's like it's like when the people come in here and they try to rile me up with like these levy comments about how he's going to be a gm it's the exact same thing like, you just have to be realistic about it. If people want me to not be realistic and say, oh, yeah, this person's going to be, like, the next coming. I mean, they probably aren't. Play c6. Yeah, let's just take and go bishop d4 here. I'm going to just take, play bishop d4. But this is actually not very attractive. Again, what this game also, I don't know what I'm doing. So let's take and go g5 here. Can Levy become governor of New York? Maybe. Yeah, maybe he can be. But 2661 is miles, and I mean miles away from 2800. 
It's like if you talk about a game like Valorant, it's the same thing. When you talk about like the, the levels of Radiant, it's the exact same thing. Um, uh, I guess let's go here, maybe Queen E7. Yeah. Do I ever give credit to people who beat me? Yeah, I said he played very well. He played Knight B7, he played a couple of great moves. But that's not the question that I was asked. Um, the question that I was, or the question that someone said is they said he's the future of chess. It's very different from being asked if he played a good game. I don't know what I'm doing this game, actually. I'm playing this very poorly. Let's go rookie eight and take with a pawn. No, 20, I mean, 26.50 at 17, there's, there's a lot of potential, but again long long ways to go i mean Han, like i said hans just yesterday was 2650 he was he was climbing up a ton of points really really fat or not points he was climbing up the leaderboard really fast a couple of bad turns back down to like 2630 so again when people think it's just some something like that it's just not how it works so i can take i can also go queen e7 here put pressure on the pawn on e Did i actually just hang a pawn Oh, what am I doing? I guess I'll go here and hit the queen, maybe rookie six. Very poor. Let's go rookie six, hit the queen. Of course, he finds queen g3, and now I'm actually just down a pawn and probably worse. Let's try it. Let me see if I can somehow swindle him. But this is not going very well either. Typical form, well, it's not about form. I mean, I've, I'm actually quite, I was quite lucky to make it to where I did because I was losing against, um, I was losing against uh, Matt Lacob before and I also had the game against the Reign where I barely won. I can't win first place. Unless Noterbeck, no, I still can't. I'm one point out of first, zero chance. Zero, zero chance. But maybe I can get to third or something. More than that, I just want to play three good games. That's, that's all I want to do. Play three good games and, and at least end on a high note. That's all that I'm hoping for. Okay, let's trade that's actually not a great move because now at least i can pretend that i'm playing for more although again he's up a pawn and i have double pawns so this is really not very very good at all either but that's yeah, what it is take okay, that's kind of a mistake kind of kind of a mistake go here because now I can take I can also move the bishop back to like c6 but again this is probably just a draw who is this is another one of these young kids too who is this no no not Noderbeck Nogerbeck okay um uh let's go here yeah, Nogerbeck, another one. Not Noderbeck, but Nogerbeck. Okay. Let's go here. I uh, think you to him and him for the 14th day and Brett Weaver for the 21 months. Appreciate it. Um, and I allowed this one, which I shouldn't have allowed. And drop the bishop to e4 or go to b7. Go here. Knight f3, I guess I take. I'm going to have to chuck material on the queen side, I think. I'm just going to go like. Uh, somehow I have to do. S and also go a five maybe. Oh, I don't want to spend too much more time here. Um, bum 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 bum. I gotta come up with some moves. I guess I'll go here. Got to move. Play rook d6 to put pressure on the knight. Play rook d6. I'm going to go h5, h4. Try to put pressure on the king side here a little bit. Create this weakness. Knight d5, I have rook d6 next move and go from there. And play h. I think I just go for h4. Because so I need to play against the, the king side. So here, I hope this is right.
These kids are so good. She's Ricky too. What a great move. <sighs> Unreal. I'll go here. Of course, this is also a draw, obviously. Or is it? Wait. No, it's not. I, I guess I just barely win. Oh, no, I don't win. What the heck? Oh, this is disgusting. Am I actually going to find a way to not win this? Okay, I'm going to win. These kids are getting too good, though. It's crazy. He's like FM, and he's hanging on so well. Just insane. Crazy. Crazy. How old is this kid? Ratings. He is. Oh, he's 18. He's 18, 24, 08. Hmm. Yeah. I, I guess he, he's older. He's older than, than, than I thought he was. I thought he was like 13 or 12, but it looks like he's 18. Is he the future of chess? Yes. Good question. Good question. Who knows? No, no, I, I wasn't actually... No, no, the reason I was looking was had nothing to do with being sauce. It was just very impressive. So I was curious if he was like 12, 12 or 13 or what his age was. Because he should... Is he, is he stronger than Levy? Yes. You guys want me to... You want? I know what you want me to say on that so that you can make some new clip and start some drama for no good reason. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you, you're, you're waiting for, for me to say something and then do that. He drew Fabiano also. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you drew Fabiano, yeah, it's not surprising. Very, very good player. Oh, we have one of these. With 20 seconds each. Okay. You're saying a player with a high rating is better than a player with a lower rating? Not exactly. Oh, God. I get Jabava. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay, so he's going to take... Okay, so what's... I'm gonna do something really weird. I'm gonna... I don't know. It's Joe Bob. But let's play something very strange and ridiculous. Of course, Joe Bob plays F5. I should have played F5 myself. Why didn't I go F5? Oh. Yeah, I don't even know what I, I don't even know what I'm doing in this game. I'm just making moves. Guess let's go here. Now I can actually take a pawn. I mean, it looks kind of ridiculous, but you know, I'm doing so poorly in the turn that I might as well just play really on the edge here and try to confuse matters. Probably it won't work, but. I mean, C4 is a move, Queen B3 is a move. I also have Knight... No, Knight C2 is not a move, of course. Yeah, this makes no sense. Let's go Knight F3. 
Not even sure what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing this game. This is just a terrible position for me, probably. Although, I guess I'm going to go C4 and try to confuse the matters. Confuse the situation a little bit. I mean, Queen B3 looks like a move to hit the pawn. Hopefully, this is decent. Let's go here. Maybe C4. Of course, I blundered that, too. And, uh... Yeah, I, I have a feeling I might find a way to lose a third game with white. Just that kind of a day. Yeah, I mean, what even is this? Let's go here, hit the pawn on B6. Uh, I guess I'll go here, maybe D3. Very poor position. go d4 too but i think i have to go d3 and hopefully i'm not just busted here very likely i'm just losing somehow but who cares it's just one of those days okay it goes there now i can play d4 i can also take i can also take on c4 i don't think i take on c4 i think i take here i think i go queen d1 i mean this doesn't look right though this really just oh why did i go to d1 i could have gone to d2 Yeah, I should have gone to D2. What on earth was Queen D1? Like, I just I just hang everything here. I mean, I guess I... I can play A4, maybe. A4, Queen C4, something. I also have Knight G5, maybe. Wait a second. Rook B7... I have knight. No, no, I can't go knight g Wait, I can go knight g I think I'm just going to go here. I hope this doesn't just lose somehow. But now at least I get a pawn. I mean, it's a pawn, a pawn for my kingdom. Still not very happy with any of this, but maybe... Maybe I can go here. And hopefully not just... I feel like I'm about to make another huge blunder for some reason. C8. I'm kind of surprised by that move. I guess I just go there. Go here. Yeah, I can feel I can feel a blunder coming on somehow. I just feel I just feel it. Uh I go bishop e2. Also, I should have gone to B5, I think. Why did I go to E2? I have Knight D4 here. Way too slow. Too slow, too slow. You got to speed up. Find a good move. I just can't find a move now. Uh, find a move. Just find a move. Just can't. I can't come up with a move. I just can't come up with a move here. make a move I just I can't I can't come with a move it's ridiculous I literally just can't come with a move Oh, frustrating. Like, I just can't find moves for some reason. Uh, 
this. It's ridiculous. I'm going to win this game. It's just a game, chill. Yeah, it's just a game. Uh, it's just a game until someone's eye gets poked out, right? Horrible. I mean, I know I'm going to win this game, but absolutely horrible. I think it's sex roll for the prime. No, Jababa's mistake was he suddenly let it get to a position where I could make five moves quickly. Yeah. Absurd. Yeah, I mean, he. the thing is, like, the point is Jababa had a position where he has easy moves and I don't have... Like, right here, I, I have the doubled works, but what do I do? Like, I've got 10 seconds and I have no obvious moves. And then he, the problem is he just made it where, like, I, I have to go for the sequence and either it works or it doesn't. And it happens to work. No, I mean, that was horrible by Jababa. Oh, it's Queenie 3 winning? Actually, I was wondering, is Queenie 3 winning here? Probably is, actually, no, no, knowing that... Yeah, okay. So we're both just ter we're both just terrible chess players. What else is new? We're both just awful. Oh, Noterbeck lost to Minlay. Minlay got to nine. Or wait, no, Noterbeck's still playing. Never mind. Should be a draw. I mean, Noterbrek's going to win this, right? Rookie five? Yeah, Noterbrek's going to win. Bornick's got no time here. How does Bornick always have 10 seconds? Or not 10 seconds, he has like two seconds in every game. Somehow Bornick always has like two seconds. It's ridiculous. Gotta go. Ninety seven? I mean, how do you how do you do this? How, how do you just keep I don't know how Bornick does this. Like every game he's got two seconds against everybody, and sometimes it works, but I mean it's just I don't know how he expects to hold with two seconds every game. I mean, how do you get so low on time? Yeah, I just don't know how you get that low on time. So yeah. Okay, let's see. So who else is playing? Okay, so Minlay and Bortnik haven't played. So I have a shot at second place, maybe. If I win my game, I have a shot at second place. I'm drinking uh, organic uh, organic mix. Drinking organic mix, yeah. You wish I had a Grand Prix to win tomorrow? Well, yeah, because normally when I play terribly online, I, I, I always play well over the board. Okay, so I have a chance to... Actually, the good thing is I have a chance to ruin Minlay's day now. Because if I beat Minlay, he's not going to get second place. So I have a chance to ruin his afternoon, which is... Just what just what I want to do. It's good G6 and Bishop G7. Or I can make him very happy and lose. But I'm gonna make sure this game is decisive one way or the other. Because I I, I want I want him to either win the tournament or ruin his day. I, I want him to be either really happy or really unhappy. Okay, um I think I'm just gonna go here. He has tie breaks on me? Um kind of, yeah. Okay, now I guess I just cast. Oh, I had 94 and D5, right? That's a, that's actually a line, but this looks slightly wrong in terms of the way Minlay has played this. I take, go here, hit the pawn. I have 97. If Bornick hadn't flagged there, I have a chance to win. Probably, yeah. That's true, actually. If Bornick doesn't flag, he's on nine, so whatever. I don't really deserve to win, though. I played some really bad chess today, so I shouldn't, I mean... If I had a chance to win, that would probably be too much. I mean, what? I I mean, I should have lost the game to to Matlakov. I shouldn't have lost to Noterbeck, but I should have lost to Matlakov. So, like, even if you flip those two, it's still no good. And then, of course, I was completely busted against Jobaba. So, yeah, I, I think that's asking... I mean, that's really asking too much to think that somehow I should have a chance to win. I have not played good chess today. This, however, looks vaguely familiar. Like, I've seen this. I, have I had this against... L, L, L Maximus? I think I had this against L Maximus, maybe. I had this against somebody. This looks very familiar. Let's go here. I feel like I had this against L Maximus and maybe L Vichy as well. 
I could be insane though. I'm not sure, but I feel like I had this against uh, against Maximus Vash uh, Maximus Vashi Legra or Maxime Vashi Legrav is what I meant to say. Um, okay. Now I can take. Was it 95? I don't even remember how this line goes. I had this against somebody in the Grand Chess Tour. And now I'm thinking, why am I suddenly thinking again for no reason? I guess I'll just go here. Again, suddenly I'm just thinking for no reason. I just can't bring myself to move. Yeah, uh, Maxime Vashi I, I just My brain's not working, as I think everybody can tell. El Gladiator Maximus from France. Yeah, you got to move, dude. I know. Like, I just, I, something's wrong today. Just don't have the rhythm at all. Don't have the flow. I mean, Minlay's using a lot of time, to be fair. I don't know why, but he is. It's Bishop D5. I mean, I guess I'll just, I'm just going to play logical moves. I don't want to spend too much time. Now, if I take any takes with what? The pawn, I guess? I have Knight B6 here, I think. Yeah, I need more organic mix. I just need to play better chess, mainly. Has nothing to do with the mix or any of that stuff. I just need to play good chess. And I'm not doing it right now, that's for sure. <sighs> Knight F6, he goes takes and it's a draw. I, I don't I don't want this to be a draw. I'm going to win or I'm going to lose this game, but I refuse to let this become a draw. Let's go here. I just refuse. Like, a draw is the worst possible result for everybody. So I'm going to make sure this is decisive one way or the other. Just there. Let's go here. Maybe ninety six. I think I'm gonna go knight, knight g five. That's my idea. That seems like a slightly wrong move. Oh, of course. What is that? Abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. Yeah, I'm really not playing well at the moment. This is really quite pathetic by me. I mean, I'm probably going to lose this game if I'm not careful. He needs to win, though. If he wants to make a draw, fine. I mean, I don't think anyone's... Okay, go here. Oh, I have Bishop H4, maybe? Or not. Wait. H4, ED6, Queen F6. Yeah, it's just not my day today. I guess I'll go here. Really not my day. Missing everything. I mean... But now I... T but again, wh why does Minley keep finding ways to mess it up? Like, he keeps finding ways to not win these games when he should. Like, he was completely beating me, and now it's, now it's going to be a draw again. Come on, Minley, just win. Like, literally, the, the, the one result I don't want is a draw. And Minlay found a way to mess this up to where he's not winning anymore, and I can't... Here's D5, which looks like a bad... Looks like the wrong move. Now, why did he go... Yeah, he's... I mean, I can't believe this. He's gonna... He's gonna... He's gonna lose this game. No, I mean, I want him to beat me. Like, I, I do. But, yeah, he's completely messed this up. And now, let's go here, and I've got 94 even. Okay, he goes there. Ah, uh, he found a good... Oh, he found actually a good move that I completely missed. That's a good move, actually. Good move by Minlay. Very nice. Um, Or is it? Wait. Or is it? No, actually... Is it? Wait. Bishop A4 is a very good move. Yeah, it's bishop h6, I guess. So here. I think this is fine. I have rook d8, right? Oh, 
I find a way to lose anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find a way to lose anyway. <laughs> okay, I find a way to lose it anyway. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, that's... Okay. Surely he can't throw this, right? Um... I mean, he's got 10 seconds. Yeah, this sums up the day. I'm not even upset about this one. Don't me oh come on dude just beat me what is come on dude what is rook f3 just beat me come on I mean come on rook h7 just win the game I mean come on dude seriously like what is what is rook f3 I mean come on rook h7 just win the game I mean come on oh that's I, I mean that's so bad Wait, he was getting second? No, he gets a 10 out of 11. Wasn't he going to win on the tiebreak? Or not? Yeah, I mean, obviously not my day. I mean, I, I don't mind this. But let me let me check one thing, though. I want to check one thing here. Um, Because I think right around here... D yeah, this was still good. I mean, I guess, yeah, I just trade here and it's a draw, but... Okay, whatever. Yeah, I mean... I just mean you gotta you gotta win this dude like I mean also rook d7 was an easy way to win just cut the king off and go rook c1 I mean this is just easy win nah it's just not it's not not good that's just not good I mean that's just not good 